So the day has come for us to discuss water. These people are making a lot of money selling stuff, calling it water, and it really not is water. So today I'm going to discuss water. I'm going to run a couple of tests, show you guys what's real and what's not real, and break it down so you guys can understand exactly what you're putting into your body. And I'm also, this is just regular tap water, I'm also going to be running a test on my tap water and explaining that in details. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Water might seem like the simplest thing in the world, but it's not. Especially when Coca-Cola makes water. Yes, Coca-Cola makes water. So that should tell you something. It's a trillion dollar industry. So everybody want a piece of the pie and some waters are not real. But let me stop on this. Before I discuss this, let's jump into explaining some of the things. Drinking water too fast can actually force sodium into your cells. That's not a good thing. That's why sometimes people end up being bloated. They get a bottle of water, duk, 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 drink it too fast, and then they end up being bloated. You're forcing sodium into your cells. Since we're talking about sodium, let's discuss another thing. Too much water. If you're taking too much water, like a, a lot of people, like I take a gallon and a half water a day, but what am I doing? I'm making sure that I have enough sea salt in my system and I have enough potassium in my system. This is some of the reasons why supplements are a great additive to what you're trying to do and your goals you're trying to make in life. If you drink over a gallon and a half water a day, you gotta make sure you have enough salt, not regular salt, sea salt, and enough potassium into your system. That is very, very, very important. Also, alcohol and sodas, dehydrates you. So if you're out and you're drinking alcohol and soda, it actually does dehydrate you. Okay, drinking and eating. This is something that my mom and dad always used to tell me, don't drink and eat, don't drink and eat, don't drink and eat, don't drink, but it never explained why. This is why. It slows down the acid into your stomach and it stops you from, slow down your digestive system tremendously. And that's why when it slows down and the fat stays in your stomach, and that's why you can never see your abs, and it will never peak out no matter how much you know, dieting you do, no matter how much workout you do, you're drinking and eating. So it slow down your digestive system, the food stays in your stomach longer, you look bloated, and you can never get the six pack you want. Now, I'm not, some of us are, you have to drink, you know, some people have to drink and eat, but make sure that you're not, taking an entire cup of water while you're eating. Like for every bite, you're drinking. No, that's a, that's a really, really bad thing. All right, tap water. Tap water is important. Now, I myself use tap water. So before I get into the whole tap water thing, I wrote down another, let me just get it out, get it out of the way. I actually wrote down another sheet because I want to discuss some of the benefits some things are really not good with tap water and other things are, but I wanted to write it down before I started that test so I could actually show you guys some of the benefits and some things that are not good. All right, hope you guys somewhat see that. This paper is kind of wrinkled. Come on. All right, so basically, now, when it comes to tap water, a lot of people are gonna tell you it's safe, but there's a website you could actually look at. Um, it tells you how contaminated your tap water is, depending on what area you live in. And you could determine whether or not it's safe. Stop listening to other people. Do your own research. I'm gonna post the website down below so you guys can look up your area, type in your zip code, and you can see what you need to do. Now, my tap water, you know, this is how I take it, and I actually do it, all I do is filter it, and that's how I travel with my water every single day. Buying this every day is really expensive. Buying a filter, really not expensive. 
But I'm not saying it's perfect. So let's discuss it. Some of the things in tap water in my area, but according to that website, chloroform is seven times over the limit, but they say it is safe. Everything on this chart is supposed to be safe, but it's actually over the limit. Nitrates, 10 times over the limit. Halodacetic acid, 240 times, 247 exactly times over the limit. Cancer, this shit here will cause cancer. Bromodichloroform metrate, I'm probably screwing that up, it's a long word. 52 times over the limit, cancer. And there's another one called, I'm probably all in the way, TT. HM 306 times over the limit. Cancer. So there's a lot of things on this list. Four of these five things causes cancer. <sighs> Ridiculous, I know. But one thing everybody should know too is once you add up these things on your list, tap water um, actually raises your estrogen level. So, well, all water, it depends on if, if the water is not pure water and the pH balance isn't high enough and it's not contaminated, it actually does raise your estrogen level. So if you're ever in a situation where you're sexually active and you just reach for a bottle of water, it's supposed to replenish you and it don't. <laughs> it actually make it worse. So be careful what you put in your body. Let's start this test right now. All right, I'm just gonna put this on a time lapse. Um, so I can pour in all these bottles. All right, so there's actually different ways to actually test your water. Um, but today I'm going to focus more on the liquid test. Um, a couple of these I'm going to actually use. I have these other pH tests. Now, I'm not going to check for um, the can things that cause cancer um, because the ones that I have, I really don't want to put them inside here and contaminate them because that's my personal use. But these, I'm actually, I'm going to use these just to show you the pH balance on the water so you could have the understanding of what you're doing. Um, all these products, um, I'm going to put in a link down below so if you guys want to order them, you can. Um, but first I want to start with, um, you know what, I want to just check, check the meter with, let's check it with this one. I know that shit is fake. <laughs> but for entertainment purposes, I went out and bought all this crap knowing that most of them are fake. But um, yeah, let's go through this again. And I want to check this too with the stick and just you know just to be curious all right so the first one some of y'all already know what's going to happen there's no way this is going to pass i don't think so so let, but let's go let's just go put two drops in each one um hope you guys could see it let me clean off this table some before i get started get some of these stuff out of the way all right, two drop in each one, just to be fair. Well, you know what? Let's do three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put them all in at the same time before I start the test. And this is my house water. All right. Now, when it comes to um, tap water, house water, I knew this was gonna get a higher reading when the pH balance, and that's why a lot of people, that's why a lot of people get tricked. They always think that tap water is good enough. It's not the pH balance when it comes to tap water you have to worry about, it's everything else. The nitrates, the chloroform, the formaldehyde, that's what you really gotta worry about. So if you're gonna drink your tap water, you gotta make sure, you have to make sure you filter it like I was showing you earlier. You have to filter it to get rid of all those other stuff. Otherwise, it's gonna raise your estrogen level 
it's going to cause cancer it's going to go to the hospital they're not going to you know they're not they can't tell you that's where it's coming from but if you do your research yourself you realize that some of the things from tap water actually is no good for you but this is the tricky part it passes your ph test but it fails every other test so be careful all right core water now when you look at core water once the a company advertised the ph on a water you kind of already know that it's going to be up there, up there high i was expecting higher to be honest on the core um but yeah it's just where's the number at yeah it's like a yeah it's right around a seven normal normal smart water fail <laughs> that is bleach that is right up that's that's a number five yeah that's a strong five that fails so if you're drinking that water and you're still dehydrated and you blame it on everything else because you're drinking enough water you don't feel good just because it says smart water doesn't mean that it's smart please 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 be careful of what you drink do your test on your water this is fake this is fake you see it says ph balance like they make sure they try to tell you the ph balance on it but they don't put the number of what the ph of the water is they just put the word ph but they're not putting the number when a company put the actual number that means they're proving what it is so don't be fooled by just the word ph without them backing it up and telling you the number Erbion, everybody already know that water is going to pass it costs so damn much of course it's going to pass aquafina bleach now this is a tricky one um propel i was actually expecting this water to pass and i don't know why it's so low i'm thinking with this one here i'm thinking it may be because of the um it's berry let me do this test again on this one i'm thinking it's because it's berry um flavored that's why it's failing so bad but regardless of the fact if you put that into your body i mean coca-cola makes it too so you know usually it does pass the tests that i've experienced in but i guess this flavor is so contaminated that it actually makes you more dehydrated because that is the lowest of the low that is a four that is really low sparkling water i decided to add a sparkling water to the mix just to see what the numbers are and i did expect this one to fail but it's actually a six it's not really that bad it's better than the flavor at propel it, it, it's amazing zephyr hill that's a go-to if you're ever in a pinch always stick with zephyr hill it passes hands down that is a i'll give that an eight yeah that's a strong eight now this is costco this is my go-to every time i'm in costco this is what i pick up and i'm sorry to say that is only a seven it is normal so i'm actually screwing myself by actually taking this i need to switch to zephyr hill and give this up yeah that's probably what i'm going to do just switch to zephyr hill because this is end up hurting me all right fiji everybody know that was going to pass that is a strong probably eight and a half close to a nine so everybody know that was going to pass now this is the gas station water the nightclub water when you go to the nightclub this is the water they serve you um i actually got this out of a nightclub um so and i put it in my pocket because i wanted to do the test on it but this is the one from the nightclub you go to the nightclub they charge you five dollars for that little thing right there and it is actually bleach so when you're out there dancing celebrating and feeling dehydrated you go back for more can't figure out why this is why it's really not water so if you're in a nightclub ask them if they got you know try to get the water in the cup um that they, they give you that would hydrate you more it might be contaminated more but you're not going to feel dehydrated by going with this route all right this one here also this is the one i hate this is the one i hate this is fake bleach so according to this test how many bleach do i have up here one two three four five six i have six bottles of water that actually failed 
this test. Six, this is amazing. On the next video, I will test the formaldehyde and I will test everything else on it just to make sure so you guys can understand what it is. So I'm gonna save these bottles and on the next test, I will test everything else. Thanks you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something.